romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy. And it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Friday! Today's video is going to be a Why Choose Romance Recommendation video. And the reason why I decided to do this video is because I finally finished the the Bonsa Thai series by Jay Bree. So I wanted to do this video. My first recommendation is the Bonsa Thai series by Jay Bree. I know this series is very hit or miss. Some people love it, some people hate it. I loved it. I know Jess from Honest Fiction, Joe from Not Your Average Joe, and Lacey from Lacey's Book Lovers, and Madison from Princess of Paperback all love these series like I do. And I know that Jess and Madison also have a Why Choose Romance recommendation video. I'll link their channels down below if you want to watch their video. The first series Why Choose Romance I'm going to recommend is the Bonda Thai series. And the Bonda Thai is about Oleander who runs away from her, her bonded because when she was when she was 14 her her mother and her bonded all got killed so she thinks if she's with her bonded people there will be they will be in danger, so Oleander runs away from her bonded. People, like, people hired to bring her back don't find her for, at least until she's 18, don't find her for a few years. She's 18 now. She was 14 when the series started, the epilogue where her family died. So, they bring her back to this school, this high school where people in their bonded go to learn about their powers. And let's just say her other bonded are not happy that Oleander r r ran away from them. So it's an enemies to lovers because they don't like her at first. And it takes her, like, I believe until the second book for them to warm up to her. And you don't, and you have to read the rest of the series because you don't find out until, like, book three why she runs, why she runs away. Also, book one and book two take place at the school but there's a chef from book three where you leave the school and it's about them trying to figure out how to win against the bad guys because there's an overarching bad guy in this plot and I forgot the name of the bad guy but it's them trying to figure out their whole bonded situation and trying to fight against the bad guys and trying to see if they can make this whole bonded relationship work. I love the Bond That Ties series. I will tell you though that the world building there's not much of it. 
you just get right into the story about the bonded and 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 their relationship but you don't really get a lot of world building but as I said I love the series my next recommendation is the Saint View Pie series by Al Thorpe and it's about this girl who goes to this prestigious high school but one day there was a fire in the school where she stuck in the fire and somebody gets her out from that fire somebody saves her and it her uncle who happens to be the principal of that prestigious high school ends up dying in the fire so she goes to a different school the same view high because that person who saved her from the fire she remembers he was wearing a football jersey from St. View High. So she bre she befriends the football team in hopes to find out who her uncle's killer is. And if she happens to have a relationship with three of the football players and this is a dark romance it's a suspense element she's trying to figure out who killed her uncle i really liked it there is sword crossing in this and there's a lot of twists and turns because the it turns out the uncle is not the person he portrayed himself to be but you have to read all three books in that series to figure it out i read the audio books for it the audio books are great the other series the other series i'm gonna recommend is also by l thorpe and it's part of the same view world it's St. View Prison, and St. View Prison is about this girl who goes to a bar, sees, his, sees her sister's ex-boyfriend, Health, and they get to talking, and she invites him to, her ha to their house for more drinks, and when she wakes up, from drinking the next day, she goes to her sister's room, finds her sister has dead, murdered, and the ex-boyfriend, Health, covered in blood. So Health is taken to prison for murder, and she... After she gets over the shock, she realizes that Half could not have been the one to kill his sister, her sister, because he's such a he's such a nice guy. There is no way he could have done it. So she hires a lawyer to help re represent him and help him get out of jail. So the one, the romance is between Health, who is in prison, the lawyer, her, and the prison guard. Well, they form this relationship with each other, but they're also trying to figure out who is the actual person who murdered her sister. 
And the last series that I'm gonna mention, made by from that from that world, is Saint View Psychos, and it's a spin-off to Saint View Prison. It's with one of the side. It's one of the side characters in Saint View Prison gets their story. And I haven't read that series yet because only the first two books are out in audio and I'm waiting for the third book to come out on audio. I really like Althorpe's audios, their duet narration, is they're very good. Another book I want to recommend to you is Lola and the Millionaires. Lola and the Millionaires is about Lola who does not have a good relationship with Alphys. She is a beta and one day she goes to a bar, meets this other beta, and they really hit it off. Lola gets a job at this fashion company. It turns out the guy she had this night with, this connection, the other beta she was with that night at the bar, works at this fashion company. And the owners of this fashion company is his alphas and they're all part of this pack. And Lola says, look, I can get in a relationship with you, but I do not like alphas. So Lola tries this relationship with the other beta and she tries to avoid the other alphas, but eventually they wear her down. This is a duet and it's about the other alphas trying to win Lola's trust. And I really liked it. It was cute. It was, it's an Omega Verse Why Choose. All these books I'm talking about is very spicy. Last series, um, the last book I'm going to mention for this recommendation video is Poison Roses by Tate James. Poison Roses is about this girl who's basically homeless, who has no money. And uh, one day, this bar owner takes pity on her, gets gets her a job at, at the place she works at. And one day, uh, the mafia comes in and starts murdering people. And that mafia boss happens to be her ex-boyfriend. So she runs away and she bumps into this guy and this whose name is Rhett. And he notices that she's running from something. So he tries to... Uh, like tries to be there for her like gives her a place to stay only to find out that Rhett is the drummer in this famous rock band and Lola knows who this rock band is because her first love is the lead singer and and he does not want Lola there, but um, he does. She broke his heart, but Red, like Red, says no. She can stay. It's not up to you. So it's the it's the heroine's romance with the band with the rock band, but. She is also trying to escape from the Mafia person. There is so many twists in this series. And 
because you get to find out why at the end you get to find out why the heroine reject broke the lead singer's heart and it turns out that the heroine the lead singer and the mafia guy all had this relationship this sort of romantic relationship and you have to read the series to find out what happened to them because it's very twisty and it's a slow burn it's a slow burn romance because she really takes the time to make the heroine connect to each member of the band. And I cannot wait for book two. Those are all my recommendations for why choose romance recommendations. Please check out Jess's video and madison's video i'll link their channels down below in the description please let me know if you have read any of these series um let me know if you have any recommendations for me down in the comments below i would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me and i'll see you monday Bye.